हेलो एवरीवन इस वीडियो में हम क्लास एट की बीबीसी के रीडिंग सेक्शन के सारे होमवर्क असाइनमेंट सॉल्व करेंगे रीड द फॉलोइंग फॉर्म केयरफुली फादर्स आर वंडरफुल फादर्स आर वंडरफुल पीपल टू लिटल अंडरस्टूड एंड वी डू नॉट सिंग दे आर प्रेजेस एज ओफन एज वी शुड फॉर सम हाउ फादर सीम्स टू बी द मैन हु पेज द बिल while mother binds up little hurts and nurses all our ills and father struggles daily to live up to his image as protector and provider and hero of the scrimmage and perhaps that is the reason we sometimes get the notion that fathers are not subject to the thing we call emotion but if you look inside dad's heart where no one else can see you will find he is sentimental and as soft as he can do but he is so busy every day in the grueling race of life he leaves the sentimental stuff to his partner and his wife but fathers are just wonderful in a million different ways and they merit loving compliments and accolades of praise for the only reason dad aspires to fortune and success is to make the family proud of him and to bring them happiness tick the correct option for each of the following statements which of the following ideas is conveyed in the first stanza first fathers have to struggle every day second fathers are not understood or praised enough third fathers are believed to have no emotions Fourth, fathers want fortune and success. Correct option is second. Fathers are not understood or praised enough. B. Second, according to stanza two, a father is someone who first seeks a lot of praise, second pays all the bills, third is an amazing person, fourth nurses hurts and ills. correct option is second pays all the bills see we sometimes get the notion in stanza 4 the notion the poet refers to is that first fathers have to provide for and protect their families second fathers are often very sentimental third fathers often lack emotions fourth fathers are wonderful in a million ways correct option is third fathers often lack emotions d fathers seek fortune and success so that they first avoid being sentimental second remain as busy as they can be third prove that they are wonderful people fourth make their families happy and proud of them correct option is fourth make their families happy and proud of them E a stanza that repeats the main idea of the first stanza is first stanza 5 second stanza 6 third stanza 7 fourth stanza 8 The correct answer is third stanza 7 F a stanza that shows the fathers can be tender hearted too is first stanza 3 second stanza 5 third stanza 7 fourth stanza 8 correct answer is second stanza 5 g a stanza that shows that fathers often have no time for being sentimental because of what they have to do is first stanza 2 second stanza 4 third stanza 6 fourth stanza 8 the correct answer is third stanza 6 h choose the option that lists two stanzas that talk about the hard work a father has to do first stanza 2 and 4 second stanza 2 and 7 third stanza 3 and 6 fourth stanza 5 and 8 correct option is third stanza 3 and 6 answer the following questions as briefly as possible first what image does a father have to live up to the image of a 
protector provider and hero of the family b what kind of heart do most darts have soft and sentimental heart see why do fathers often have no time for sentiments because they are busy running the difficult race of life for their families third list two things that children can do to show how much they love and value their fathers compliment their fathers as often as they can second do things that their dads will be proud of fourth what is the rhyme scheme of the poem a b c b it's a b c b fifth write a short poem of about 4 to 6 lines in praise of your father you may like to use the opening line given below he never looks for praise and works tirelessly nights and days just to keep us happy and well fed like a true leader he has led his family on the path of joy how much we are indebted to the old boy now homework assignment 2 read the following passage carefully when loquacion of brisbane and his two sons timothy and idan have been rescued from the expedition national park after surviving for 10 days with little food and in extreme weather conditions report queensland police they had they were spotted by a farmer tom wagner in a remote part of expedition national park earlier lokus wife had raised an alarm when the trio did not arrive at a friend's home in cairns loquizan and his boys ordeal began 
when he took a wrong turn during a road trip from his home in Brisbane to Cairns using an inland route and his vehicle got trapped in mud. They were pretty hungry by the time I got to them and pretty happy to see me. The younger boy kept asking me if I had any eggs while the older one appeared dehydrated, Wagner said. Queensland Police Acting Superintendent Meg Bianchi said that the boys were listed stable at the term hospital and were getting their strength back. During their ordeal, the trio had limited provisions and the father had given the limited food he had to his sons. Luckily, it was stormy at times and they were able to collect rainwater in a plastic container. Otherwise, they would have perished, said Priyanki. He applauded the father for key decisions during the ordeal. 1. To stay near the vehicle. 2. To attract attention by laying out high visibility items around his vehicle. 3. To stay warm by lighting fires. And 4. To establish routines with his children and keep them occupied. He said that the national park is not usually visited at this time of year because of the extreme weather conditions and there is usually little or no cell phone reception there in the area. So the trio were not able to contact anybody for help. Take the correct option for each of the following statements or questions. First, when Lokins was traveling with his son to Brisbane, Cairns, Expedition National Park, or Queensland. Correct answer is second. What led to Lokuzen and his son's ordeal in the Expedition National Park? First, a wrong turn. Second, bad weather. Third, muddy land. Fourth, weaker breakdown. Correct answer is first, a wrong turn. See which of the following best describes Lokuzen's behavior as father during the ordeal. First, careless and irresponsible. Second, adventurous and reckless. Third, caring and self-sacrificing. Fourth, cunning and exploitative. Correct answer is third, caring and self-sacrificing. D. Which of the following best describes the condition of Timothy and Ethan when they arrived at the hospital? First, unstable. Second, unconscious. Third, healthy. Fourth, steady. Correct answer is fourth study. E. From where he was in the Expedition National Park, Lokuzen could not send a distress call to his wife or police because first, he was not carrying his cell phone. Second, cell phone signals were not available there. Third, his phone battery had died and could not be charged. Fourth, his cell phone had fallen in the mud. Correct answer is second. Cell phone signals were not available there. Read the two sentences given below and take the option that holds true or both. First, Lokuzen took a wrong turn during a road trip from his home in Brisbane to Cairns. Second, Lokuzen's vehicle got trapped in mud. First sentence 1 is the effect of sentence 2. Second sentence 1 is the cause of sentence 2. Third, both sentences do not have any relation between them. Both, both sentences cannot be inferred from the text. Correct option is second. Sentence 1 is the cause of sentence 2. Four persons describe when Lokuzen based on their reading of the above passage. Take the most appropriate option out of the ones given below. Person 1. What a reckless man when Lokuzen is. Why risk your life and the lives of your children for the sake of adventure? Person 2 What great presence of mind and resilience when Lokuzen showed in the wake of a grave crisis? Person 3 This is what happens when you disregard the warning of your life when Lokuzen is himself to blame for his misadventure. Person 4 one wrong decision that Lokusen made undid the 
good yielded by his other key decisions during the jungle ordeal person 1 person 2 person 3 person 4 correct option is second person 2 select the option that does not suggest the meaning of the word uploaded first praised second admired third honored fourth appreciated correct answer is third honored answer the following questions as briefly as possible first what did lokusen's wife do when she did not hear from him and his sons she raised an alarm b who spotted lokusen and his sons what was their condition they were spotted by a farmer tom wagner they were all hungry and appeared dehydrated but stable see list four key decisions taken by lokusen that ensured his and his son's survival in the expedition national park first he gave only limited food to his sons and collected rain water to drink to prevent dehydration second he stayed near the vehicle and attracted the attention by laying out high visibility items around it third he lit fires to keep himself and his children warm fourth he established routines for his sons and kept them occupied D how did the stormy weather aid in Lokusen and his son's survival It helped them to overcome the shortage of 
drinking water they collected rain water in a plastic container look at paragraph 5 find and copy one word from the passage that means the same as nightmare or trouble ordeal find and copy one word that has been used in the sense of the word died perished what lessons can be learned from nuksen's experience in the expedition national park one should not panic in times of crisis and try to make use of the limited resources at hand now homework assignment 3 Read the following passage carefully. Sparkling algae. Last month, Chennai teas who were at Eloet's beach after dark were treated to an extraordinary spectacle. A little distance away from the shore, the incoming waves glowed in a blue-green light. It was a magical sight, but not a happy one, said marine experts. The glow is due to bioluminescent algae called Noctiluca scintillans. It emits the light when disturbed and is an indication that all is not well with sea water. In the first few years of this century, the glowing algae were seen regularly. They would be all over our shoes and pants during our night patrols at the beach i saw i once saw a crab that had eaten the algae and it was glowing from inside said we are on of the student sea turtle conversation network sstcn an organization in chennai after that it seemed to have vanished but came back at the beginning of this year biologists say the arrival of the bioluminescent algae is a sign of the pollution of sea water and of the rise in the temperature of the sea following climate change one reason for its occurrence could be agricultural water that is filled with pesticides draining into the sea algae have always been present in the oceans but these disturbances make them grow and spread in the water the growing algae absorb oxygen from the water and let out ammonia that poison the fish in some parts of the world this algae has been responsible for the death of many marine species and so The areas where they are seen have been marked death zones. One such place is the beach in Namli, 35 kilometers south of Chennai. Dead fish in large numbers collected on the shore following the appearance of noctilucas. It is obvious that repeated appearances of noctiluca scintillans blooms can disrupt the ecosystem balance in indian coastal waters complete the following statements briefly first the extraordinary spectacle referred to in the first paragraph is the view of the waves 
glowing in a blue green light second the blue green light was not a happy one because it indicated that all was not well with sea water third the crab began to grow from inside after it had eaten bio luminescent algae called noctiluca scintillans Fourth, two things that the appearance of bioluminescent algae seem to indicate are first, pollution, second, higher temperature of sea water. Fifth, the sea water get polluted mainly because the agricultural water that is filled with pesticides drains into the sea six the sea fish are poisoned when the glowing algae absorb the oxygen from the sea water and let ammonia out G. The expression death zones are used in paragraph 5 of the passage refers to the areas where the bioluminescent algae have caused the death of many marine species look at paragraph 2 find and copy one word that means regular visits by guards or police to keep a watch over an area Patrols. Third, read the facts and opinions given below. Select the option that identifies them correctly. First, it was a magical sight, but not a happy one. Second, Noctiluca scintillans emits the light when disturbed. Third, the glowing algae absorb oxygen from the water and let out ammonia. Fourth, one reason for its occurrence could be agricultural water that is filled with pesticides draining into the sea. So, this is the correct answer. We have two facts. Hai, wo hai. Second and third. And opinions are first and fourth. So, correct option is C. What do you think volunteers like we are on do? 
Arun works as a volunteer for a turtle conservation organization called student turtle conservation network sst cn volunteers like him spend their time and effort sometimes even money to conserve and save animals plants and ecosystems in danger now homework assignment 4 read the following passage carefully cables cables are everywhere some pull things like lifts up and down others keep things in place or hold them up they anchor huge television mast and support suspension bridges First wire cable footbridge was erected in 1860 in Philadelphia, USA, and in 1834, stranded wire cable was used in mining industry in Germany. The first undersea telegraph cable between England and France became functional in 1850. In 1880s, supply cables began to distribute electricity from power stations in the early days of electrical experiments scientists made solid wires to carry electricity round their circuits soon they were sending pulses of electric current down wires as a means of transmitting pulse messages from one place to another within a few years the electric telegraph was born the first telegraph lines were bare copper wires strung between wooden poles with the invention of the telephone in 1876 a new type of cable was needed simple telegraph type wires could carry telephone signals over relatively short distances but the signals got weaker and weaker unless they were boosted regularly by special amplifiers called repeaters even these with these the signals were simply not strong enough to travel through very long cables coaxial cable was the answer to the distance problem with telephone poles coaxial cable which was developed in 1930s is mainly built up of four layers the innermost layer consists of four copper conductor the conductor is wrapped in insulation which in turn is covered with a metal mesh the entire setup is again covered with a protective plastic layer called a jacket This shielded design stops the signal strength from dropping as quickly so calls can be sent successfully over much longer distances. Coaxial cables now carry submarine telecommunications signals around 
the globe and also provide a online cable TV services. Cable technology moved on again when in 1970s optical fiber cables were developed. Optical fibers are extremely fine threads of very pure glass and signals are sent along them as coded bursts of light. A complete cable can contain a bundles of fire fibers and is capable of carrying thousands of transmissions. Each fiber has a color-coded coating like the wires in electrical cables. Apart from carrying telephone poles, optical fiber cables are now used to transmit large volumes of computer data over long distances at high speed. On the basis of your reading of the passage, complete the following table very briefly. You have been given one example. 1816 First wire cable footbridge erected in Philadelphia USA 1834 Standard Wire Cable Used in Mining Industry 1850 First under C Telegraph cable became functional. Eighteen seventy six telephone invented. Eighteen eighties Distribution of electricity through supply cables, 1930s, coaxial cables developed To improve signal transmission, 1970s, optical fiber cables developed. In the circles given below, different types of cables and their purposes are lined jumbled up. Match them correctly and write the correct combination in the space provided in the form of a table given below. Supply cable, optical fiber cable, mining, coaxial cable, electricity distribution, improved signal transmission, high speed computer data transmission, standard wire cable. Types of cable and purpose. First, stranded wire cable. Purpose, mining. Second, supply cable. Electricity Distribution Third
कोएक्सियल केबल परपजेस इंप्रूव्ड सिग्नल ट्रांसमिशन फोर्थ ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल पर्पज इज हाई स्पीड कंप्यूटर डेटा ट्रांसमिशन complete the following statements as briefly as possible in olden times telephones were limited means of communication compared to modern telephones because earlier telephones depended on simple telegraph wire b electric cables and optical fiber cables are similar in the sense that both of them have color coded coating See two uses of coaxial cables in modern times are first to carry submarine telecommunications signals around the world second to provide on land cable tv services look at paragraph 3 find and copy one word that means the same as helped or encouraged to improve boosted which of the following images correctly labels the different layers that form the structure of coaxial cable isme hame four pictures given hai first second third and fourth and the correct option is d option 2 read the problem listed below and provide solution based on your reading of paragraph 3 of the passage problem The telephone signals in the past tended to get weaker and weaker even during short distance transmission. Solution: Amplifiers called repeaters were used. to boost the signal regularly after every short distance now homework assignment 5 read the following passage carefully Satyajit Ray He was a writer filmmaker musician artist and one of the finest creative thinkers of India Born into an eminent family of stalwarts like Upendra Kishore Ray Choudhary and Sukumar Ray Satyajit Ray grew up in Calcutta and graduated from Presidency College in 1940 on His mother's insistence he left for Shantiniketan 
Rabindranath Tagore's university at Bolpur to attend their art school. His curriculum and interest exposed him to Indian and other Eastern art forms and he eventually gained a deeper appreciation of both Eastern and Western cultures, a harmonious combination that is evident in some of his works and films. Upon his return to Calcutta, he joined an advertising agency in 1943, became its art director and within a few years rose up the ranks within the company. He also worked for a publishing house as a commercial illustrator, becoming a leading Indian typographer and a book jacket designer. In 1949, he was encouraged by the French director Jean Drenor, who was then in Bengal, to shoot the river. The success of Vittorio de Sica's The Bicycle Thief 1948 with its downheat story and its economy of means, location and shooting with non-professional actors convinced Ray to attempt his first film Pathar Panchali, 1955. Over the years, millions of film lovers worldwide have enjoyed his films through Charulatas, 1964, Teen Kanya, 1961, Ghare Bear, 1984, Jal Sagar, 1958, Devi, 1960, Sadgati, 1981, Kanchanjanga, 1962, Ashni Sanket, 1973, Sonar Kela 1975 and Chatranj Khilari 1977 among others. Humor is also evident in most of Ray's films and is particularly marked in the comedy Pressure Pathar and in the musical Gupi Gain Bagha Bain 1969. The songs composed by Ray for the latter are among his best known contribution to Bengali culture. Satyajit Ray was also the favorite of children for his work in creating literature for young minds, mesmerizing them with iconic characters like Faluda and Professor Shonku. Ray also established himself as a publisher, writer and illustrator, having revived the famous children's magazine Sandesh, which his grandfather started in 1913 and which he edited until 1990. Satyajit Ray remains a beacon of for all those who are serious and contemplating a career in all that is creative. On the basis of your reading of the passage, answer the following questions briefly. Satyajit Ray's mother was instrumental in his becoming an artist and filmmaker because she insisted that he should attend Shanti Niketan's art school. His education there became the foundation stone of his career as an artist and filmmaker. B. Satyajit Ray's artwork and films came to have a harmonious combination of Eastern and Western cultures because of his curriculum as well as his interest in Indian 
and other eastern art forms see three achievements of satyajit ray in the world of advertising and publishing are first he became the art director of the advertising agency he joined in 1943 and rose even higher in ranks later on second he worked as a commercial illustrator in a publishing house third he also became a leading indian typographer and book jacket designer d satyajit ray got inspiration for his film pather panchali from the success of vittorio de sicas the bicycle thief 1948 that had downbeat story and economy of means location and shooting with non professional actors e gopi gain baga pai is unique among satyajit ray's creation because it was a musical comedy and the songs composed for it by satyajit re are among his best
known contribution to the bengali culture f two things that made satyajit ray a favorite with children are first he created literature for young minds and mesmerized children with iconic characters like feluda and professor shongu second he revived and edited till 1992 the famous children's magazine sandesh and worked as publisher writer and illustrator second complete the following web chart showing the different facets of satyajit ray's talent you have been given one example writer first filmmaker second musician third artist or art director fourth publisher fifth typographer sixth book jacket designer 7 illustrator 8 creative thinker third match satyajit ray's film given in column b with the correct years of release given in column a by drawing lines a 1955 pathar panchali b 1958 jal sagar C nineteen sixty Davy D nineteen sixty one Teen Kanya E nineteen sixty two Kanchan Janga F nineteen sixty four चारुलता 
जी नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन गायन बागा बाइन एच नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री आशनी संकेत आई नाइनटीन सोनार कैला जे नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन शतरंज के खिलाड़ी के नाइनटीन एटी वन सदगति एल नाइनटीन एटी फोर घेर बेर वर्ड इन द क्रॉसवर्ड पजल बाय स्टडिंग द क्लूज इन द टेबल बिलो तो इस टेबल को रीड करके हमें इसको फिल करना है मैं इस टेबल को फिल कर रही हूं ये पजल है एक और डाउन इन सब क्वेश्चंस के आंसर मैंने उसमें लिख दिए हैं फिफ्थ सत्यजीत रे इंस्पायर यू एज अ रोल मॉडल से यस और नो गिव रीजंस यूजिंग इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट टू सपोर्ट योर व्यू यस सत्यजीत इज एन एक्सीलेंट रोल मॉडल टू फॉलो एंड एम्यूलेट ही वॉज अ फिल्म मेकर musician fine artist and thinker all rolled into one he also worked as a publisher illustrator writer and editor he produced
many iconic and critically acclaimed films is in bangla and hindi i will consider myself very lucky if i could achieve even 25% of what he achieved next homework assignment 6 read the following passage carefully launch of a locomotive the chitranjan locomotive works clw located near maitan was one of the many important installations set up to manufacture steam locomotives the first electric locomotive to be made there was named lokmanya after the great freedom fighter tilak and was to be launched by prime minister jawaharlal nehru himself the general manager of the clw r krishna swami rk for short was an exceptionally competent person who combined vision with a keen eye for detail for nehru's visit he produced an elaborate plan the pm was to press a button on the dais Thereafter a wooden lotus in front of the dais would rise and open its petals from the petals would emerge an illuminated model of the locomotive the real locomotive itself was positioned near the dais with its name covered by a brocade curtain the curtain would then slide open with the blast of the horn the engine would move forward this was the script for the evening ceremony that rk had prepared detailed instructions had been issued to all his chiefs who were to check and recheck the details and rehearse the sequence repeatedly the event commenced the time came for pressing the button it was duly pressed nothing happened the pm pressed it again still nothing happened i could see rk's face becoming red we had also heard of nehru's temper on such occasions but this time his sense of humor prevailed what is happening mr general manager nehru said am i doing something wrong he then made an elaborate show of lifting his arm to full length and brought it down on the button button alas nothing happened in what seemed a suicidal leap rk then jumped out from the front of the dais and with his bare hands peeled open the petals of the wooden lotus the model of the locomotive came out but it was unilluminated the brocade curtain had to be tucked aside by hand fortunately a real life driver was positioned inside the locomotive he sounded the horn and took the engine forward later in guest house nehru asked rk whatever happened to that button pushing ceremony rk's explanation was candid sir it is the same problem which has plagued development in the country lack of coordination i had given instructions to all my chiefs but at the last time minute the chief civil engineer thought it fit to put an extra shine of spirit polish on the lotus but he did not inform the chief electrical engineer nor the chief mechanical engineer of this penultimate act to add shine to the proceedings the polish did not quite dry the petal got stuck the circuit was broken and the rest 
Sir is too shameful for me to recount. RK was duly consoled by the PM. This was the script for the evening ceremony. Complete the following flowchart showing the different steps in the launch ceremony. Write the answers in the space provided. Plan for the launch ceremony. PM to press a button on the dice. First, a wooden lotus to rise and open its petals. P an illuminated model of the locomotive to emerge. C. Curtain hiding the locomotive to slide open. D. The engine to move with a blast of its horn. Answer the following questions as briefly as possible. First, how many times did the Prime Minister have to press the switch? Answer is three times. Second, why was RK red faced? Answer, because nothing was going according to plan and he was angry and shame faced. See how did RK save the situation? Answer by manually opening up the petals of the wooden lotus. D. What was the only saving grace in the launch ceremony? Answer The driver of the locomotive was able to sound the horn and take the engine forward. E. The author calls RK's explanation of the launch ceremony candid. Why? His words were frank and honest. He admitted his and his staff for F. What was the technical reason behind the failure of the launch ceremony? The extra shine of spirit polish 
made the petals of the wooden lotus stick together and triggered a short circuit g who or what did rk hold responsible for the failure of the launch ceremony answer lack of coordination tick the correct option for each of the following questions first why had nehru gone to chitranjan locomotive works clw first to inaugurate the factory second to launch the manufacturing of steam locomotives third to launch a newly built electric locomotive fourth to pay tributes to lok manya tilak the answer is third to launch a newly built electric motor locomotive b which of the following is not mentioned in the passage but is still evident as one of the qualities of r krishna swami's character first competent second observant third straight forward fourth humorous correct answer is fourth humorous c who was the real culprit for the failure of the launch ceremony first chief civil engineer second chief electrical engineer third chief mechanical engineer fourth the general manager correct answer is first chief civil engineer d choose the option that lists the steps that were not a part of emergency steps taken to complete the launch ceremony to ab batana in options mein se kaun sa step nahi hai to in options ko read karte hain pressing the electric switch forced opening of tuck petals third tugging the curtain hiding the inauguration flag with hand fourth putting an extra shine of spirit polish on the lotus petals fifth positioning a real locomotive driver inside the locomotive sixth sounding the horn and moving the locomotive the correct option hai iska d ka second option jo hai correct hai options 1 4 5 and 6 Look at paragraph five. Find and copy one word that means the same as pull hard in a particular direction. Answer is tug. Fifth list two positive qualities of Jawaharlal Nehru's character as evident in the passage. First is humor. Second is solace or encouragement fifth column a of the table below lists three different feelings r krishna swami r k had on the day the electric locomotive was to be launched by the pm give reason in column b to explain why do you think r k felt that way how r k felt proud and confident why i think r k felt that way he had made all the plans for a grand unwilling ceremony which was to be performed by the then prime minister pandit jawahar lal nehru angry and disappointed the chief civil engineer had got an extra layer of 
polish on the wooden lotus which caused a short circuit as a result the unveiling ceremony was a disaster the lotus petals had got stuck and had to be manually opened the locomotive did come up but was not illuminated and the curtain from the locomotive had to be removed by hand sorry and ashamed the grand opening ceremony got spoiled due to an officials negligence and he and his team had to cut a sorry figure in front of the prime minister now homework assignment 6a read the following passage carefully what a brilliant invention louis braille was born in 1809 in coupre a small village 30 km east of paris he loved tinkering in his father's leather workshop when he was 3 years old he was trying to make holes in a piece of leather with an awl the owl slipped and poked him in the eye he was treated by a doctor but it did not help his wound got infected and the infection spread to his good eye damaging it as well Louis lost vision in both eyes by the age of 5. Disability did not dampen Louis's creativity and intelligence. He gained entry into the Royal Institute for Blind Youth in Paris, one of the first special schools for blind children in the world. He excelled as a student and musician. In 1821, Charles Barbier A retired army captain visited the school to demonstrate his invention of night writing. It was a coat of raised dots and dashes embossed and on cardboard meant for soldiers to read and send messages at night on the war front without talking or needing light. As the soldiers found it too complex, it was not used in the army. Louis worked on Barbier's system and by 
he had devised a simple efficient code for the french language consisting of six dot cells he was only 15 years old he went on to adopt the system for music and maths braille system had huge benefits it helped the blind to read faster and with ease using a slate and stylus they could write text and read it themselves without the help of a sighted person a single cell no bigger than a fingertip could represent a letter number punctuation mark or even a whole word with raised dots tick the correct option for each of the following statements first braille's loss of sight in the first eye was a birth defect second an accident third a result of infection fourth due to a deficiency of vitamins first an accident which of the following images correctly shows an owl correct option is option 3 Louis lost his vision in both the eyes by the age of 3, 5, 12 or 15. Correct answer is option 2, 5. Besides creativity and intelligence, which other qualities or traits of Louis Braille's character are evident in paragraph 2? Helplessness, determination, gratitude, brilliance, visual disability or kindness correct answer is determination and brilliance a single cell with raised dots in the braille system did not represent a letter or number a punctuation mark a whole word a sentence correct answer is sentence look at paragraph 1 find and copy one word that means the same as trying to repair something answer is tinkering complete the following statements as briefly as possible first the inventor of braille was only 15 years of age when he invented the system second charles barber system could not be used in the army because the soldiers found it too complex third three areas in which louis braille system could be used were language music and mathematics D complete the following benefits or advantages of braille system. First, the blind could read faster and with ease. Second, the blind could read and write without the help of a sighted person third a single cell with raised dots could represent a letter a number a punctuation mark or even a whole word fourth give two opinions you have a braille personality select evidence from the text to support your opinion complete the table I think the braille is full of positive spirit. Evidence from the text is although he lost both his eyes. by the age of 
blindness could not dampen his spirit second talented he excelled in music and math at the special school for blind youth fifth in your opinion is your mindset similar to or different from louis braille give two reasons to support your answer yes i do believe that my mindset is akin to louis brains mindset i am always up and doing and like to tinker and fiddle with things i like to think of new ideas and invent things for example i have develop a pair of gloves for my mother to do the dishes without damaging her hands i am fortunate enough not to have any handicaps but like louis braille i am ready to face any challenges and am confident that i will overcome them i wish to continue my 
invention inventiveness and innovation in future too